Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a first impression slash tutorial on this little guy right here. So yesterday I was at the drugstore and I saw this and I just had to pick it up. I have been wanting to try these wet and wild eyeshadows for a while now and I just haven't picked them up and I, I don't know why I haven't but um, I've been really wanting to I've been really into like purple shadows lately and I don't have a lot of them in my collection surprisingly so when I saw this I was like oh I need to try this and it said new so I think that this is new and it also said um, only at Walgreens so I don't know if that's like a Walgreens exclusive or not but seems like it so yeah I'm just gonna try these out see how the formula is and see if it's worth the whole five dollars that I paid for it so let's get right into that okay so I have a primer on my eyes and it's just the normal essence one that I use every single day and so on the back it has like some suggestions like if you don't really know where to start you can do one of theirs. I don't think I'm going to follow these so much. I just kind of want to play around. I think I'm going to take um, this creamy color and just kind of set my primer a little bit and kind of get like a transition going. I don't really notice too much about the shadow yet. I mean, it seems to be blending okay. Nothing standout-ish, either good or bad. Okay. Cool. So now I think I think I'm gonna deepen my crease with this transition shade right here. Well it says transition, but I think I'm gonna use it as a crease color. I really want to dig into like these purples right here. So actually use a different brush I don't know how I feel about this transition shade or this uh I guess a crease shade um not really doing a whole lot for me. Let me go ahead and try this other one. Maybe, maybe I'll like that one a little more. And I think I'm also gonna take a smaller crease brush and try and get like deeper or deeper, um, more defined crease because I feel like that one was just going all over the place. Okay, I definitely like this one better. I don't really know what it was about that last one, but it just wasn't doing it for me. But yeah, I like how that one looks. Okay, so then I'm going to take and put that same one on the other eye. I'm not even going to bother with that other one because I really didn't like it. Okay, yeah, that, that, that one is blending so much better. Okay. 
Okay, I like that. I'm going to put a little more on this side. Okay, now I'm having a hard time deciding which of these purples I want to use. I really want to use one of these two, and I can't decide which one. I think, actually... missing brushes okay I think actually I might take um, this lighter your destiny purple and I think I'm gonna maybe put that more on like the beginning half of my lid and then put this darker purple more towards the back and we'll see how that looks because I really want to try both of them really bad okay and I'm gonna try it first with this shader brush Ordinarily, with like colors like this, I will just use my finger, but I like to see, since this is a new palette, like how it performs with the brush. Um, definitely quite a bit of fallout. I'm really glad that I did my eyes first because I'm getting a lot of purple all over my nose and under my eye area. And I don't know if it's because of the brush, but it's not very pigmented. This might be one of those shadows that you kind of have to put on top of another shadow, or maybe it's just the brush. I don't know. I might go back and try to see how it works with my finger here, here in a minute. Yeah, you're not really... I think that if maybe I put a purple shadow first and then put this on top, it would look really pretty. But I'm going to try and use my finger and see what happens. Okay, so it definitely works... 100% better with your fingers. No surprise there. Uh, a lot of shadows like this do. So I do really like it with my finger. And it's very pretty. I think, once again, I think that I would put more of like maybe a purple shade underneath or something and then this would really make it pop but it does look pretty on its own <clears throat> now I'm going to try this other purple color and on the other half of my lid and see how that works once again I'm going to try it with the brush I'm just going to use the same brush because they're same color kind of I'm going to try it first with the brush and we'll see how it works And also, I didn't spray anything on this brush. That would probably help it a little more too, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. So it's not terrible with a brush. It, I think it shows up better than the first color with the brush. But I think this is going to be another one where you need to use your fingers, to be honest. Yeah. Well. Okay, so it does show up pretty good with the brush. But I like a really rich pigmented color. So I think I am going to once again go in with my fingers. Oh yeah, that is so pretty now. Okay, that is gorgeous.
Okay, I absolutely love that. The, um, the second purple shade is definitely a lot more rich and pigmented. I really liked that first shade, but I feel like, you know, you kind of need to, it's more of a topper. It's not really something that's going to stand out on its own. I'm just clean it. There is quite a bit of fallout on my face. Um, I didn't have that problem with the matte shades I used, so I think it's just the metallics in this palette have some fallout that happens. Um, but yeah, so let's think I'm going to put a little bit of I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline. And this is just a brown. I kind of, I don't know, I like to use a brown just to put something on. Also, metallics look good, but I just like to have a little bit of something for the powder to attach to. Now I'm going to take a little brush right here and put, I'm going to put a little bit of that, that shade we use as a transition shade under my lower lash line. <laughs> the funny faces we make when we're doing our makeup. Yeah, I really like that. Um, so, just to keep the purple train going, I'm going to take just a little bit of that deeper purple and put it under my lash line too just you know full circle we'll see how that goes so we are just experimenting today I would really like I wish I had like a purple eyeliner because that would look really pretty but I don't means I'm just gonna have to go to Ulta all right so those are my oh 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 I almost forgot now I'm just gonna take dip just a tiny tiny little bit into this transition color right there so i'm just going to dip a tiny bit into that transition color we take our original blending brush and just kind of blend out the edges Skin. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow finished. Uh, I'm going to go throw on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with final thoughts. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. Now, I am actually very pleased with how it turned out. I did go back and put more of that purple right on the top where it had kind of blended out. But, um... I would definitely say this is worth $5. I don't know if this is exactly the same formula as the other Wet n Wild eyeshadows that I know everybody said were very nice quality. I haven't tried any of those yet. That's still on my makeup bucket list. 
but um, I definitely feel like this is worth the five dollars. Um, like I said, you definitely want to do your eyes first because these metallics have quite a bit of fallout, but um, I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. I'm going to use it some more and see what I think, and yeah, so for a first impression, I am now, I mean, it's not like this formula, it's, it's not a high-end formula, I wouldn't say it's comparable to like an Urban Decay palette or something like that, but for a $5 drugstore palette, I think it's, I think it's very nice, and it didn't take me very long to get this eye look, and there's a lot more options I would like to try in this palette, these pinks right here are really cute, I think they're, there's a few different looks you could get out of this palette, so, I'd say it's definitely worth the five bucks and I don't regret buying it and I'm going to play around with it some more. And yeah, those are my thoughts. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.